Hey guys, so another really cool update we're going to show you today is it's super simple and it's something that the PPC 10 hasn't have that now the PPC 6X has. It's updating your firmware. So if you've had the 10 or if you had the GT series before in the past, you've had to actually throw your new firmware onto a jump drive and then plug the jump drive into the unit and hold down two switches while powering up and it would actually start updating the firmware. But the cool thing is now this firmware allows you to actually go in here and firmware update straight from the unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to find what we're using, which we're going to use this um, printer cable today. So we're going to plug it in. We're going to go over here. We are going to connect the device. So now that it's connected, we can go up to um, firmware update. It will read where the PVC in and out. It's reading as MIDI. It's just um, sending it as um, the USB. So then you would go into your file, and you would select whichever file you're going to select. I'm going to select the new beta um, firmware. So we're going to select this guy right here. Once you've selected it, you can start the the process. The bootloader it says start starting bootloader. On the screen, you can see that it's actually starting, preparing the unit to be able to update. So it's doing all, it's doing its whole thing and running everything through. Waiting, see now it's updating, nice and real quick. And then from there, once it's done, it's complete. Mastermind will reset, and then now you're good to go. So now if we go in here, as you can see in here, it still says there's only six loops available. We go in here and we split the mono for all these and make a nine go up to transfer and write changes to device. Now we're throwing the new tweaks that we've done on the editor into the controller. So now it's going to do its writing changes to devices and then from there it's going to throw those new edits on. The new firmware is updated. It shows you have nine loops and then if you look on here there's actually a plus um, sign right here. If you look at split insert loop, if you actually split the insert loop and we send these changes real quick. Boom, done. Now you can see that there's a plus and there's a minus. So plus is going to be um, the tip side of the the split of the loop, and the the minus is going to be the ring side. So this allows you to actually go into your insert insert one and two. Insert one is plus. Insert two is minus. So if insert one is going to be a volume, you could turn it on and you could lock it, and then you could actually transfer the settings. So all the other loops will work the same. It will allow that loop to stay um, on all the time without being muted. So there we go. And I hope you've um, kind of got an understanding of how this guy works. Um, there's a lot to know, and um, it's really easy to figure it out. Have a good one.